Hello. I'm back to talk to you about collage papers again today and making your own papers for collage. Now, I'm pretty sure most of you have thought about the first part of this um, that I'm going to show you. And that is to take your scraps of papers and these are some painting papers. This is a calendar page. Create a master board and then copy it which you can then tear up and use in your art journals or your collages. Um, you can also take your copies and add pins and things to them and create more paper ideas behind that. And I thought I'd just show you a few of those that I have done. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, oh, that one's upside down, sorry. Here I just added some um, stenciling and some ink and some things like that to create another page that I could use to use in my collages. Um, this is a little bit different one. So there's a lot of ways you can do that in creating master boards that you can copy. Um, just with collage itself and then go from there where I'm taking this is another place though I, I really want you to see that this is just um, painty paper um, that I copied so that you have multiple sheets of your own painty papers your own collage papers that you can tear up and use in your art this is another one I never did get copied. I just It's not a big deal, but it's uh, another one that I had intended to copy. But this is where I wanted to take you with this. Um, when I was on my trip last year, I really got involved in taking really close-up shots of things. Uh, macro photography, basically. And... All I used was my phone. It's about looking at little parts and pieces of things. Now, this happens to be spray paint on a car at Cadillac Ranch in Texas. Um, you would never know that. So that macro version of something it gives you a totally different look and creates its fun piece of paper. Um, I love this one. This happens to be where worms have eaten at a, a board. And it's, I just took that photograph with my macro on my phone and then blew it up and printed it out. And this is going to make some really fun paper to use in my collages. Um, this is another one. This happens to be stones. Um, this might look better. You might see it better this way. Uh, somewhere we were on a hike and I took pictures of the ground because the stones intrigued me. And these were not big stones. This was definitely a very close up shot. Now this one, I'm sure you can identify um, much easier to see and know what is what you're looking at that's a leaf uh oh excuse me somehow or another some papers got in there that shouldn't have been in there <laughs> okay <laughs> so so this I mean this one is much more easily identified but if I tear it up to do uh, a little bit of this or a little bit of that print wise um, I'm quite sure that it'll be really a lot of fun in my um, in my collage paper now this is a really fast little thing to tell you but don't overlook taking pictures in macro and then printing them out to use as your own paper rather than trying to purchase paper or trying to find um, images that suit what you want. Uh, if you do not have a printer, 
uh, then I suggest using uh, a service li at, like Office Depot. They you can take them a um, a, a thumb drive usually, and you can use their copiers to print out things. Um, I, these are laser printed just because I use a lot of wet medium and I happen to like that but you don't have to if you use glue stick. So that's just another little way to make some collage papers that are yours and good for your um, art journal pages. Your Whatever you're going to do with them. Anyways guys this is just quick. Go have fun. Make some art. Bye-bye.